it's an interesting one with Sean because basically what happened was he saw me at a gig in Brighton and like he liked liked the set or whatever. And then he was going on tour and I was like, so at that stage, if you were tour support, he basically he asked me to support him on tour. If you're tour support, you drive, you drive the act, you drive the main act. So I'd go and pick him up. And, and at that stage I was so broke that, um, you know, sometimes I feel, I don't know, you get paid after the gig, like, you know, after you've done a run of gig. Sometimes I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I've got enough money for petrol to like go and get him. And like, it was like proper, like, I was like really running it on fumes financially. And um, so I was picking up, taking two gigs. And like that money from those gigs was basically keeping our bills paid. You know, if I didn't have those gigs, I don't know what we would have done. And then during that time, um, I, one of the things that he offered to do that I never took him up on was I couldn't pay the road tax on my car and I had some money due to come in from a gig. And I said to Lisa, when this money comes in, I'll pay the road tax. Your wife. My wife, sorry, yeah. I said, I, I said to her, when, when, when this money comes in, I'll pay for the road tax. Anyway, we came home from the shops and the car was gone and they'd impounded it for not having road tax. And I phoned up and I said, um, how do I get my car back? And they said, well, it's a 450 pound fine and it's 150 pounds for every day that we have the car for. So I said, enjoy the car. And then I <laughs> put the phone down. <laughs> And I said to Lisa, I'm really sorry we don't have a car anymore. I don't know what to tell you. I can't afford, like, there's no way. Every day I spend trying to get that 450 quid, we've got to pay another 150. This is like mad. And then I told Sean about it and he straight away goes, I'll give you the money to get a car. He goes, I'll just lend it to you. He goes, I know you're good for it. He goes, I know you'll start making money from comedy and you'll be able to pay me back. And I never took him up on it, but saying that was huge. Like, it was so huge. Um, anyway, when we were on tour, he started doing this show called Stand Up For The Week. And that was like, they did topical material and you had writers working on it. And he said to me, can you write me some, like write some stuff for the show? Like, and it, it, actually what he started doing was he started going, what do you think about this story? And I'll tell him, he, like he goes, you know, what comedy angles have you got on this story? And I talked to him and he'd like go, okay, okay. Da, da. And little did I know, he was trying to help me out, right? So he was trying to test the waters. So he goes, what's your angles on this? Da, da, da. Then he goes to me, can you send me some stuff? Like, send me some stuff you've written. And I remember sending him some stuff and he goes, this is all shit, I can't, this is unusable. And he goes, try again next week. I'll send you the stories, have a go. And then I did it again and he goes, some of this is good, most of it is shit. And then I did that for another couple of times. He goes, right, do you want to come into the writer's room? He goes, I get into the writer's room and, and you can sit in and like do some stuff. So I sat in and then I became a writer on Stand Up For The Week. I started becoming a writer on Stand Up For The Week. And then he did a show called Sean Walsh World. And he got me in as a writer on that. And then they did a press launch for the show. And they were doing a comedy gig as part of the press launch. And Sean got me on that comedy gig. And I did the gig and the guys that produced Live at the Apollo were there for that gig. Cause it was like the same sort of production house that do the show. They, I had a great set. And two days later they phoned me and asked me to be on Live at the Apollo. And like, at that time, the money that you get for doing Live at the Apollo basically would pay my bills for six months, right? And so I didn't have an agent at the time, so they had to phone me directly. We were dropping the kids off at nursery. And I got, got the phone call. I was like, Ramesh, this is the guys from Live at the Apollo. Just wondering if you wanted to be on the next series. And I just went, hold on a sec. I just went, oh, I'm doing Live at the Apollo, man. And I went, yeah, 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 I think I can do that. And straight away I go, I can do comedy for another few months. You know what I mean? I can I I I can pay bills for the next few months. I, I don't know. It might come to the end of that few months, and I'm still not not, not got anywhere. But I've just bought. I've just I, I've got six months in this game still. It was like it was incredible. And that is down like you know Sean got me that man. Do you know what I mean? Like he he was like giving me work that was pay, you know I'll, I'll never forget that. 